Hey, I'm Liv, and I'm gonna teach you how to wash a French horn. You're gonna need some supplies to do this, so I'll list it off for you. You're gonna need a snake, a mouthpiece brush, a mouthpiece, your French horn, a bathtub with running water, a towel, and some oils. First thing to do is make sure that your bathtub is clean. You don't want any hair around in the bathtub whenever you're trying to wash your horn, so make sure it is very clean. The second step is to turn on the water. Make sure that the water is lukewarm temperature. I made this mistake when I was a freshman in high school and put a horn that had lacquer on it in water to wash it with hot water and the lacquer came off of the horn. I'm here to tell you, do not do that. Lukewarm water is where it's at to wash French horns. When taking the slides out, be sure to hold down the valves to release the air and keep the rotors tight. Take off all four rotary valve covers as well. It is optional to use soap. I did not, but I would recommend using Dawn soap if you choose to use soap in your water. It's going to break down the oils in your horn and help it to be just that much more clean. Your horn might look different than mine. Mine has a detachable bell and it is a Geyer style wrap. So this part of the horn looks a lot more empty than some of the horns you might be using at your high school or middle school. There might be an extra slide here, but mine doesn't have that. If yours is different than mine, I would recommend taking a picture of your horn on the front and on the back so you know where everything goes. Fill up the tub to where the water reaches through the bell and the slides. Now it's time to use your snake from earlier. Clean every slide using the larger end of the snake. I suggest doing this with the slide submerged in the lukewarm water so the snake helps the water get the gunk and oils off of the slide. Once you're done with that, move on to the rotary covers and scrub them. Now set the slides off to the side and move on to the horn. First scrub the inside of the slides of the horn, every single one. Then take the large end of the snake and go through the bell and put the snake in as far as possible without jamming it too far. The last thing you want to do is get your snake stuck in your horn. Then this is the part that might get a little nasty. You're going to put the snake in through the bottom of the lead pipe, not the top, the bottom of the lead pipe, and push the snake all the way through. So looking at it on my horn here, you can just follow the lead pipe and go down and then see which one it comes in. So you put it in this slide. There should be lots of gunk when the snake comes out the other end. Pull the snake all the way through and repeat this two to three more times. Now pick your horn up and turn it upside down in the water and wiggle the valves. Do this a few times to help the water move through the horn one last time. When you're done cleaning the horn, make sure you get all the water out of the horn. Turn your horn in clockwise motions while wiggling the valves to get all of the water out of your horn. Listen for the gurgle sound when you wiggle the valves to see if there's any water left. Now dry the horn in all of the slides and the rotary valve covers. Make sure to get all the cracks and crannies of the horn. There are lots of them, so make sure you look through the horn and that all the water droplets are dry. Now time for oiling the horn. I use the Hetman brand of oils. I use three oils. The first one I use is Lubricant One Light Piston. The second I use is number 13, the Light Bearing and Linkage Oil. And the third I use is for the slide grease and it's just Lubricant 6.5 Slide Gel Light. Use 13 for your rotary valves and wiggle them a little bit once you put on the oil. Then cap the valves. Next, use one and put a drop in each slide and wiggle the valves and rotate the horn to move the oils around. This helps the valves to press down easier. Repeat that process for every single valve and slide. Now to grease the slides, use 6.5. Put the grease on the slides and use your fingers to spread it out on the slide. Then put the slide in the correct part of the horn. Reference the picture you took of your horn earlier to make sure you put everything back in the correct spot. Repeat this process for each front slide. Once you're done with the front, move on to the back of your horn. You do not want to put any oil in these slides right here. You just want to grease these slides and put them back in. If your horn has a detachable bell like mine does, use 13 to lubricate the screw part of the bell. Then twist it on and off a few times to evenly oil the screw. And now my bell comes off very easily and goes right back on just as easily. Ugh. 
just as easily. Oh, and there it is. All right, I hope you came out of this video with a beautifully clean and shiny horn that you are ready to play in your next band class.